Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Tutorial. This is Unit 5, Momentum. The section is 5.L, Inelastic Collision. Here you could read the scenario to yourself. The first part is the, experiment, the experimental design. We are looking at the equipment that we're going to be needing. So to do this, I want to give you a general idea of what we're trying to achieve. Okay. This is like the ballistic pendulum problem, but this time the pendulum isn't swinging up. This pendulum is probably going to stay on a cart. Okay. The dart comes from a velocity that was shot by probably like a gun. So it is being shot by a object that has a kinetic energy. So we're not really looking at the potential stuff here. So imagine a gun shooting a dart. We don't have this and it comes and it hits this such that one object is at rest the velocity comes in it hits it stays together okay this is what an inelastic collision at is like so in using these three in mind we can now design our experiment so we're going to be needing a meter stick that's to get us our distance we're going to need mass so we're going to need an electric balance we're also going to need a cart right here because one's going to be stationary. The bullets, uh, the darts can hit it. Of course, a track for the cart to move on with notice, uh, with no noticeable friction. You don't need a hook. Here's the option. You could have a stopwatch or you could have a camera. They serve the same purpose because it says here can take the video that can replay frame by frame with time codes. So if you have a camera, it's better than the stopwatch. Okay. Next, you want to look at the algebraic symbols that we will be measuring. First, we will be needing the mass of the cart with the block. So you can measure the mass of the cart. Then you could measure the mass of the block. Then you could measure the mass of the dart if you would like. Then you also need the length of the track that the block mass dart will travel. You're going to see that in the setup. So you can measure that out with the meter stick. Now also, you're also going to meet, need the time for the cart to travel, the distance of L. That's going to be given by the camera. Now let's do the lab setup to get a better visual. So just like I said in the railroad car collision momentum conserve example, this is what's going to happen. A dart's going to come in. It's going to hit a stationary block with a that's attached to a cart the block needs to be able to absorb the dart basically once it hits it it's going to get stuck together so it's going to look like this it's going to get stuck together once it gets stuck together it's now going to move a certain distance okay That's what's going to happen. Let's write the procedure. First, you need to attach the block to the cart, measure the mass of the block and the cart together. Two, measure the initial initial start position of the cart and block together. So you should probably start it at the front of the cart. And once it travels, you're going to measure the other front of the cart. You're going to start the camera. So this shouldn't be motion detected. This should be camera. Launch the dart at the blocks car center of mass. So right in the middle. Now it's going to collide. Once it collides, it's going to move a certain distance. Then you're going to find the location where the dart cart and block together move. From the video, you could look and determine the time by looking at the frame by frame of the dark cart mass as it moves and block. Then you're going to repeat step four to step six at least 10 times to reduce error. So you're going to launch the dart again. You're going to then uh, measure the uh, movement of the cart, dart and block all together. So it should look something like this. So here, transparent. So it's going to hit this once it hits this. Okay. 
this is probably going to be its initial this is going to be its initial v okay then it's going to start it's going to hit then it's going to move All right and then this is going to be its final okay so it hits it moves then you're going to graph its final location here as well okay there you go now we want to explain how those measurement there can and to solve so we're going to solve for the calculate the speed in which the dart is fired from the gun okay from this collision you're trying to solve for the velocity of the dart all right so it's like the um, railroad collision here okay uh, the velocity is going to come in hit at rest then you're going to have a velocity that you can measure when they're together all right so it's like this example first of all you have to state that the system of the dart block cart the whole system experienced no net external force in the horizontal direction so no none of the energy was released it didn't experience an external work right the system is closed therefore energy and momentum is conserved once you state that you're allowed to write this equation this is the momentum equ um, equation that describes an inelastic collision the mass times the momentum of the dart which is the mass of the dart times the velocity of the dart plus the mass of the cart and the velocity of the cart that's going to be equal to the mass together this is after they um, collide together and they're going to be moving in a certain new velocity notice that the the momentum of the cart is zero because it's not moving it's at rest at the start now if you want to solve for v dart okay you just divide m which is the mass of the dart to the other side the issue you come is that you can find the velocity of the dart cart together if we had a motion sensor but we don't but what we can do is use the camera you can use the camera the velocity of the dart cart is the distance that the dart and the cart traveled divided by the time that the cart and the dart and the cart moved together the time can be recorded by the camera so i should mention this is actually the camera not the motion detector okay so this problem is easier if you have a motion detector though there you go the camera can give you a uh, time and from there you have the distance so v equals to delta x over t which is just the length the distance traveled divided by the time there you can get the velocity of the dart cart together and you can now plug it in there you could find the velocity of the dart okay some errors that can arise from this problem is the new velocity okay that's why you have to repeat the experiment several times so you could get a good measurement of how long it traveled and the time it took to find a good velocity of the after the collision but there you go that is 5.l